glued to. Get it straight. Okay, here's a, a look at that problem we talked about in class. Remember, this is kind of just a thought experiment problem. Not, not too difficult to do the calculations, but it's to get you thinking about um, laminar versus turbulent flow and uh, the Reynolds number. So we've got this parking lot here, and um, it starts to rain, and the water runs acro across the parking lot, of course, and down the drainage ditch into this pipe. So everything's accumulating in that pipe, and it's a big drain pipe that's three feet in diameter. So um, if the drain pipe is filled during the drainage, so it's all full, um, is it laminar or turbulent, would you think? Not knowing anything else. So that's kind of a hard, you're not given a lot of information. And it's also important to note that this is a filled pipe because as you'll see when we get to chapter 10, when you th have things that are not full, uh, it's a lot more complicated because you got that um, air side boundary. So we're not given any velocity here, so we have to estimate one by choosing a key Reynolds number value and see if that velocity sounds reasonable. So if the flow were to be turbulent, then uh, Reynolds number, I know there's different cutoffs for different textbooks, but let's say uh, we're going to say, believe the 4,000 number. So if the Reynolds number is 4,000, then we know the diameter of the pipe, we know the viscosity of the water, we know the density of the water, so we can figure out what the velocity would be. So we plug all these terms in. Um, there's a little note about viscosity for some of you who, who might be having trouble seeing this connection on your table. And you can kind of see that this new guy and you has has some interest has some easier units to deal with sometimes anyway if we plug all those in sorry for the diversion there if we plug all those in we get 0.016 feet per second so um that's pretty slow that's you know less than an inch per second and we intuitively i think we would have a feeling that the velocity is going to be greater than that um, whatever it may be. We don't know exactly what it is, but we're guessing it's going to be greater than that. So that would mean it's greater than the cutoff, and therefore the flow is most likely turbulent. So that's all there is to that problem. So see if you can think your way through it and, and if it makes sense to you.